The head of Ontario's Vaccine Distribution Task Force says his team will be ready to go by the end of the year. Retired General Rick Hillier met with Premier Doug Ford this morning and spoke to the media a short time ago. Hillier says his mandate is clear. Our mission is clear. We want to have our task force ready, building on, let me add, building on the incredible work of the people over those last weeks and months here that we got a chance to listen to and talk with and question and discuss things with yesterday and today, uh, building on their incredible work to be ready for 31 December. If things arrive on 1 January, which obviously the Minister of Health and the Premier and, and the members of the government, and I'm sure the people of Ontario would love, we're going to be ready to ensure that we receive it, that we distribute it, that we handle it appropriately, that the medical professionals who are going to ensure that the vaccinations occur are ready and equipped and that the public is aware of what's going on and ready for what their role is to play to get vaccinated and get protected and that we can track it then from stem to stern, so to speak, as we're doing that. Our mandate is clear. We're going to be ready for 31 December. I think those priorities are right and logical. I think most people would support them. The CBC's Megan Fitzpatrick is on the story and joins us live from Toronto. So, Megan, what else did Hillier and Premier Ford have to say about the vaccine rollout? That is the talk of the town, of the country, of the world the last uh, couple of weeks. Yeah, well, Rick Hillier uh, gave us a sense of what he's going to be working on for the next couple of weeks. He said a lot of work has been done already, but there is a huge amount of work yet to be done, he said. This task force that he's chairing, Andrew, will be made up of a number of uh, people from within government and outside of government. He did say he brought along a couple of his former military colleagues with him to help him in this task. Uh, he's been meeting with the public servants who work in the health ministry and the solicitor general's ministry uh, at Queen's Park last few days, getting up to speed um, and then laying out the tasks ahead. This task force will be making decisions like uh, where the vaccine will physically be administered. He said that they are going to talk to municipalities, for example, and that a lot of options are on the table for that. Uh, they will be looking at IT systems so they can track the vaccine upon its arrival, where it's going, how many people have gotten it. He wants those systems in place. Another component he'll be working on is public education, he mentioned. And he did set a hard deadline for this work to be done, regardless of whether the vaccine's physically in Canada at that point or not. And that deadline is December 31st. Now, Doug Ford is saying some of this work that Rick Hillier is undertaking right now is being hampered by a lack of information from the federal government. Doug Ford said last night he talked to Justin Trudeau along with the other premiers, and he had three key questions. When is Canada getting the vaccine? Which one is it getting? And how much uh, will Canada get? And therefore, how much will Ontario get? And Premier Ford said he didn't get those answers from Justin Trudeau last night. Here's more of what he said about their conversation. I told the Prime Minister that we need answers, and we expect answers because we can't have Canadians watching as our allies start getting vaccines without having a clear answer on when we will be getting it. And my friends, the clock is ticking. We can't be last in line. The Prime Minister assured us, all the Premiers, that these answers would be coming. And I take him at his word. So the clock is ticking, but uh, Doug Ford wanting those answers quickly, Andrew. Uh, he did say, you know, the provincial government intends to work collaboratively with the federal government because really the success of this whole program depends on them working together. And Ontario uh, posted some startling case numbers today. Tell us about those and, and what they could mean or maybe they don't mean that much given uh, how much more testing has been done. A huge number posted today, a new record by far, 1,855 new cases today. But yes, also a record high of tests completed. More than 58,000 tests were completed by the province for the first time. Now, the most cases were coming from Peel region. Again, struggling to bring those numbers down, Andrew. That's 517 cases in Peel. Toronto not too far behind with 494. York region with 189. And 20 new deaths reported by the province today. If you add up the deaths, Every day this week, more than 100 people have lost their lives in Ontario this week due to COVID-19. The officials, uh, like Christine Elliott, the health minister, saying, you know, Toronto and Peel did go into lockdown mode on Monday. It will be a while yet before we see the effects, if any, of those measures, and that they did expect the numbers to go up a little bit. So while it is a huge number today, Christine Elliott saying it wasn't unexpected. 
Megan, thank you. The CBC's Megan Fitzpatrick, live in Toronto.